Sweet. Yeah. All right. Oh, I'm very excited for this episode of Potty Magic. I'm joined by two of my favourite people going round. One is the reigning rising star and premiership superstar from the Melbourne Football Club. Let's bring this up. Oh, you, got, you guys can't hear this because you don't have headphones on. But there's the, hey, there's I the can club. hear my brother. You can hear that going? Hear yeah, it does. Nice. And then the other is pick number 55 for Collingwood in the 2020 draft tray. Roscoe. Bring that one up. Hey! Yeah, I think that's about the That's the one! <laughs> boys, boys, good to see ya. See you too, brother. What's been going on? Same shit. Really. Same shit? Yeah, so uh, very annoyingly, I've forgotten one of the cords to go into the second microphone that I thought I had, but uh, we're going to have to switch in between uh, both of you. So, um, how you been, Trey? We'll start with Trey. Yeah, no, good. A bit like a panel interview, this. I feel yeah, like I I'm on the fucking footy show with switching them. Um, <laughs> I like holding this as well. Yeah, good, mate, that does it's make you grip. feel important. A bit heavy. <laughs> it's all right, though. Well, it's fine. <laughs> Get my grip up. Um, no, I've been good. Just uh, moved in with uh, Trent Rivers, yep. one of our mates from home. Yep. Um, oh, you live with Trent? Yeah. Oh, right. So cool. me and him are together in a house, and we've been there from basically the start of the year. Yeah. So it's been good, just us two in this four by three house. Yeah. Just sick. Um, Wicked. But, yeah, obviously, home's missed with yeah. working out with you, mate. Of course, <laughs> hey, of course. We had a pretty good. We'll get into that in a second then. I'll pass it over to Luke. Let's get Luke on here. Uh, yeah. You spoken to one of these before? Uh, yeah, a little bit, little bit closer. You're looking, at, you're looking at it like it's going to fucking bite you. Like, bring it a bit closer. There we go. Say something. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, just give me the first question. <laughs> How you been? Good? Yeah, good. Keeping yeah. it right. Yeah, new place is good. You got you moved in with who you're living with again? Uh Toby and Cos. Yep. In last one. Campbell. So no, yeah. that's good. Very yeah. good. Very yeah. good. So uh, a little bit of background about uh I guess how we uh, all know each other. You guys have got an extensive background together because you're, you know, best mates and sort of grew up um with each other back home and that. But we did a preseason Preseason just gone. Uh, did a bit of training down the uh, down the Body Match Factory. Trey, unbelievable transformation. Unbelievable. <laughs> How good? Does it still look like that now? Yeah, no, no? It was uh, pretty good. Um, I was actually pretty proud of myself. Man, looked ripped. Yeah, I know. What happened since? <laughs> yeah, don't bring that up. <laughs> Chocolate is just worst. The worst. Thing. Yeah, oh, yeah. I get one look at it, and me and Luke just go ham. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I've never actually felt so old until I trained both of you, though, genuinely. Honestly, you speak another fucking language to each other half the yeah. time. Some of the stuff you say, yeah, <laughs> I've got no funny, idea. Like, we just speak shit most of the time. Yeah, I've, like I said, like, you know, I'm 25. I've never genuinely felt, gee, I'm, I'm, I'm past it here. <laughs> until I trained both of you, I was going, Ooh. what are they talking Is this some TikTok shit? What is this stuff they're fucking <laughs> talking about? Well, yeah. Zach is the one that just... Fucking passes it on to us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, Zach's, yeah. He's Zach is one. Luke's brother, everyone, by the way. He also joined oh. us for all the sessions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He joined us. He was the biggest whinger. Uh, <laughs> cried about nearly everything. I think you, 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 you did a bit of whinging. I don't think I was. I think it was Zach. <laughs> 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 no, but he just made up shit the whole time. But it was just, yeah, it was just fucking hilarious. It was just we good. Yeah, yeah, on. nice. And uh, Luke, your transformation, how'd you go when you came back from uh, second? Well, your first... Uh, preseason that we did together that was yeah. huge that yeah. was massive that put was on good. like seven kilos and you yeah. know I'm completely claiming it that you know I I made your season last year completely yeah. telling everyone you probably did actually yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. so don't you forget that huh? yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. oh good so um, uh, we're going to take a quick little break here in a second but we're going to come back uh, and I know you guys are like quite uh, you've, you've got to oh actually sort of tell us how you guys know each other as well like yeah we've known each other since we were like I don't even know. Yeah, like primary school. Primary school? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, junior footy, did you play junior footy together? Yeah, we played junior footy for a couple of years together. Yeah, whereabouts? Williston. Williston. And then Ball Creek. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, nice one. And then did you play, was it East Rio? Did you play East yeah. Rio, both of you? Then East Rio and then yeah. the State and then yeah. the after together. Yeah. Nice one. And then were you at school together? Yeah. At Williston as well? Only primary school. Primary school, primary school, right, gotcha. Um, and um, uh, you still like catching up a fair bit that you're here now? Well, obviously, it's a bit weird that like, you know, you play. <laughs> Give it to Trey, he wants to say something. <laughs> hey, this guy is the worst person to organise something with. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've been trying to pin him down all this week to do you, some you stuff. You plan it a week ahead and he goes along with it. 
comes up to the morning, you message him, you go, hey, so what are we doing? You're coming over. And he <laughs> won't reply, open it, won't reply. Yeah. <laughs> and then he just goes, uh, I don't think that's a buzzability of not coming today, boys. <laughs> he just doesn't come. He gets so frustrated at me. <laughs> Oh, well. That's how I'm with everyone. <laughs> that was that weird language I was talking about. I had no idea what half the stuff they just said <laughs> just said was, honestly. <laughs> but I know you guys are, uh, you know each other pretty well. Um, and I know that you're very competitive uh, with each other, just competitive by nature. So um, I've got, um, uh, we've got a couple things we're going to do today. One, I've got some things I'm going to bring up. And all I want to know is if they're true or false that I've got from um, some family members and people around the place. And then we're also, we're going to have a little little quiz, right? Because I know you guys are both scholars, academics, <laughs> smart from everything I've been told. And the rest right? is future. Then, <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so we're going to, we're going to, we're going to take a, we're thing. going to take oh a quick break God. in just a second and, uh, and then we're going to come back and we'll uh, clear up a few of these things. Thanks boys. <laughs> so I've got some stories to uh, clear up from you that I've asked, you know, your nearest and dearest about. And I like to sort of just get these in, just get the, just get the ball rolling a little bit and everybody's sort of knowing you a little bit more. It's actually uh, one of Trey's ones first. So maybe yeah. just pass that over to Trey That's for a second. Over here, my brother. There we go. So, um, Trey, is it true that uh, in primary school you weren't particularly good at school, right? And, uh, you know, you usually get sort of, you know, Ds and, and that sort of stuff. I'm, I'm, not, eyes, this is, this is, I'm not knocking. This is just what I've been told, all right? <laughs> and, uh, and there was one year, though, that uh, – and, and your mum always wanted you to have the report card and physically bring it to her and <laughs> open, in, open it in front of her, right? So, you know, you didn't, you know, change any marks or anything like yeah. that. And go through it together more so. Uh, and um, uh, you thought that one year – what you do, just to get a bit of a head start to see what the marks were, you'd hold the bit of paper up, up into the sky, and you could see what was written on there, so you knew, so you yeah. knew the thing, and what did it say? Oh, it was giving me A's, B's. It was giving A's, B's, right, and, and, you've, and, you've, and you've come in the car, and you've gone, mum, mum, really excited, you won't believe this, I've got B's, I've got A's, <laughs> it's going so well, and your mum was shocked, and went, Really? Like, surely no. <laughs> Open the report card. You were looking at the marking sheet at the front. <laughs> yeah, fuck, eh? <laughs> true, not true. Yeah, no, nah, it was the example page at the front. The so example. <laughs> I was... Heaps I was, of A's and B's on there. Usually I'm hiding the report card saying that uh, I've got it. I'm getting it the next day and I'll put it in my bag and I'll hide it in the house somewhere so she can't find it for a couple of weeks so I can delay it. But this one time I just... Thought I'd just look into it, and you I thought you'd just get a head, a head start, a little I'd jump just on see it. See if if I maybe did have good results, I could just give it to her then and then when I got the report. Yep, I checked and I saw all these more good muscles. I'm, I'm giving it to her straight away. <laughs> She's getting this report. I'm so excited to show oh, you this. You I won't wait. believe this. I want to get as much chocolate <laughs> as I want. I'll go on a little trip. I, I'll. I was so happy, and then I gave her the report card. I was like, mate, you won't believe this, but. Just take a look at the report card. It says, says, it, it, says all it all there. It's she all opened there. it and she was like, you know, this isn't the <laughs> report card. <laughs> what do you like, mean? I was like, what's that? There? She's like, it's the example page, mate. Uh, <laughs> I was like, oh, give me that back for one second. Mate. <laughs> oh, and then it that's was awesome. just C's and D's and I was like, oh, shit. That's, a, that's an old time <laughs> one. That's very good. We'll pass this over to Luke. So, Luke, we've got another one, sort of a schooling <laughs> academic one. Um, so, Luke, is it true that uh, you came up to your mum one day and you said, so, mum, is, it, it, is this right? Do I do CTAR when I'm at school? <laughs> Thinking yeah. that you ATAR. Is if you get A. So Luke was doing C tars, obviously, because he got C. So true, not true. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Want to explain that one anymore? Or? Uh, I can't. I might, might have been like 14 in year seven. I'll be honest. All the ones that I've got from you are between the ages of about 14 and 15. Sounds like it was a difficult little time for you. <laughs> yeah. We got some other ones up here. Yeah. I'm not the smartest bloke, so. I just thought... How good that you can cook a, kick, cook a footy? Kick a footy so well, though, eh? How yeah. good? Honestly, so good. So yeah. good. <laughs> back to back to Trey. Back to Trey. Uh, so, Trey, is it true that you don't actually know what your mum and dad do for a job? No, I do. <laughs> oh, what do they do? What do they do? Hang on, hang on. Yeah, I, I already think I know the answers. Go. Uh, mum's a books keeper. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and... Dad works for... Uh, Hesitation. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dad works for so Roy Hill in Port 
Douglas. In Port Douglas. No, I don't actually know. <laughs> I don't know what dad does. But he's yeah, yeah. right. Okay, cool. So that's a that's a that one's a true. Yeah, it's a yeah, truth. Sweet. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Flick it back over to Luke. Thank you very much. Um, so, Luke, is it uh, true at the uh, age of about fifteen? Again, this sounds like it was a bit of a troublesome time for you. You <laughs> asked your, you're in the car with your mum, uh, and you asked your mum, uh, "Hey, mum, when when I grow up and I get married and I have a wife, will you still drive me around because I won't know where to go?" Yeah, I'll probably do. <laughs> 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 who did she ask to get these? Well, from? who do you think? Your mum. mum. Yeah, of oh course. My <laughs> God. Oh, okay. wow. so that's a true. That's true. That's true. That one. Yeah, yeah it probably true. is true. But that's I can't remember. Can't remember. That. Yeah, that's right. But again, it sounds like it's a difficult year. Back to Trey. Back to Trey. Uh, where's Trey's next one? All right, cool. So Trey, is this one true that you once stood up uh, in front of uh, your whole team at Collingwood? This was uh, the family day, <laughs> and. Um, <laughs> Sort of a bit of a follow up to the last question that I just asked you, and you had to sort of introduce your family to everybody. Uh, and your mum and dad were there, and they asked, you know, what do your mum and dad do? And you said, uh, your, your mum's a bookkeeper. Yep. Uh, your dad is uh, does FIFO, and the rest is future. Yeah. yeah. Meaning, obviously, just sort of, you know, didn't quite get that uh, that well, line right. <laughs> the actual story is, we'll talk. We had we'll <laughs> to introduce our family, and then how mum and dad met, and I just said. What you just said then. Yep. My mum's a bookkeeper. Dad was FIFO. Ben studies. Don't know what Ben studies. <laughs> you can ask him if you Who want. Who do you actually know said. what do okay, you know what occupation I do? I do. I've been, they've <laughs> told me five times. My memory's bad. I've got dementia, I think. Um, and then well, I was t- 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 talking about how mum and dad met. Oh, I forgot. If, I f- forgot how they met now. But I was talking about it and I was like, yeah, mum and dad met, blah, 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 at this place. And the rest was future. And I walked off basically like a... Drop of the mic, sort of walk <laughs> off, and then I realised think nailed it. Yeah, uh, thinking I nailed it, and I was like, "Fuck yeah!" I like, made a good impression the first day, <laughs> like awesome. I was like, I'm, I'm, the, "I'm great, I'm good here." And then as I was walking past, someone was like, "It's the rest of history, mate." And I walked by, I was like, "Oh, the rest is history," and everyone just pisses. Oh, oh, like, oh, same thing. And I was yeah. like, oh, oh. "Same thing." I was oh. back to my seat. So, is it true the boys still bring that one up every now and then? Oh, all the rest the time. is future. That's not you should believable. get it tattooed on you. That's probably a good one. The rest is. <laughs> Oh, we definitely don't want that to stick there for too long. <laughs> back to Luke, back to Luke. That's very good. Uh, Luke, is it true that, again, at about the age of 15, again, troublesome year for you, um, that you asked your mum, uh, if you were born a snail, right? Oh. <laughs> if you are born a snail <laughs> and you had the same head <laughs> and you, I probably and did you walked past, would you recognise me, mum? <laughs> No, I must. I would have been a lot younger. I would not have been fifteen. <laughs> oh god! But I probably did say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cracker. Oh, no, got, I probably did. We got Trey. We got Trey. Last one. Last one for <laughs> last one for Trey. Luke, you're done. That's all yours. Done. Um, Trey, <laughs> is it true that your mum? Missed your first goal because she was outside having a tart. <laughs> oh, well, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if she did that for my junior football. Do you know, do you know how I know that? It's because that was off um, uh, like all the Schleicher's um, yeah. Instagram stories. Yeah. yeah, because I think they were all like, Ruby was there and Jake was there and yeah, they yeah. were all like, had it on their uh, on their stories. Oh. Uh, and, uh, and I was like, oh my God, that is all time. Oh. And then the other one, just a bit of a follow up to that. Can you please tell, I, uh, I've asked you this one before, but please tell everyone the story and the, the behind and the video of when they called your mum up. Because uh, you know how like they do like the like the debut when when you get the debut that you know they get the uh, re- record yeah. the 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 phone call back home to your mum and get the reaction and everyone's usually tired you know oh oh my god so great and crying yeah. and everything so they recorded your mum's reaction <laughs> can you tell it I'm sure people have seen the video it's actually iconic yeah. run us through what happened <laughs> oh well <laughs> that day in the meeting we. Had our team meeting and I got told that I was debuting, which was exciting, and I was excited for that. And then I got pulled to a pulled aside by the media group, and they were just like, "Hey, mate, we're gonna call your parents, and like you can let them know that you're playing your round one, and we'll record it and post it." Yeah. And what did you think? And I just looked at them. I was like, "Oh, well, hold up. We we're not calling Fiona." <laughs> I was like, "We'll call we'll call Dad. We'll get his reaction, and then we'll, we'll just leave it at that." And they're like, "Oh." One at the moment, I was like, "Promise me, you don't trust <laughs> you me. Don't you do not that. want Fiona 
post it on anywhere because she she would have been an idiot. <laughs> and we called dad. Dad didn't answer. And I was like, oh, oh no, for God's typical sake. dad. Like, he's working. Like, Bye, foe way. Oh. <laughs> and then they were like, just call your mum. We'll record it anyway. And I was like, oh, whatever. So I called mum. I was like, oh, yeah. Hey, mum. Blah, blah, blah. First thing she said was, because usually back then didn't have too much money. Yeah. Because it was COVID and we got half pay and everything. And sometimes I'd ask mum to get me Uber Eats because yep. I felt a little bit hungry. And well, she's a bookkeeper. She can afford it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So I'd ask a couple of times. I'd ring her and ask for her and she would set, like, get me some food and stuff. So then I would probably haven't called her for a day or two while I was over there because we had training. and yep. Which I was, was unusual sleeping. because you need to eat three times a day. So it's weird that you're not getting three yeah, calls. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. that. Um, <laughs> and then on the second day I call her and I'm like, Hey, mum, she's like, oh, you decided to call me, did you? I was like, it's been two days. Like, <laughs> you're acting like I haven't called you in a year. And then she was like saying, oh, do you want me to, do you want me to get you something like Uber Eats again? Like trying to act all cheeky. And I was like, no, mate, I just wanted to tell you I'm playing my first game and blah, blah, blah. And then she just said, what, did the whole team fall down? <laughs> <laughs> trying to say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you take it how you want it, but it's we all took it. And then there was a couple of the boys there that already knew what Fiona was like and sort of wanted to stay back and listen, listen in on the in. call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, they were all losing their shit laughing. And that is yeah, so was... funny. I'll um, I'll have to uh, clip. I'll have to clip this up and I'll get some of those bits put in with this and make it a little video because yeah. honestly, it is top tier stuff. Yeah. It is so funny. <laughs> it went everywhere. That's for sure. Uh, very good. We're going to take another quick little break and then we're going to go head to head, boys. Hey. Like I said, we're going to do a little bit of a, uh, a little quiz, right? Because I know you guys are both um, intellect, smart. Yes, exactly right. Etar. Etar. Don't say intellect around me. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we're doing our CETA. <laughs> all right, these are, this is what we call the DTAR test, all right? So what we're going to do... Oh, the lower, level below. The, the level below that one, all right? Okay. So we should be fine, all right? So all I need you to do uh, is write down your answers on the uh, on the sheet of paper. Don't look. Don't cheat. If you want to say some stuff as you go, you know, yeah, your thought yeah, processes as you go. Um, all right, so first one. The only reason one. I passed was because I cheated. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so when uh, when you my teachers out there, I cheated. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, again, I don't know what they're saying half the time here. Sorry, everyone. All right, so um, what we're gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna say some uh, say the the, the question. <laughs> I'm gonna say the question, okay, and then uh, write the answer down. Okay, so we'll, we'll put a little bit of thinking music on. You guys, you guys, the, the fellas here can't quite hear that super loud. All right, how many legs does a spider have? <laughs> Write that down, write that down. He was like, oh. He was trying to cheat already. He was already trying to look oh. over at you. <laughs> oh. oh. Have you written that? Have you got one there, Trey? Yeah. Have you got one? Yeah, look. Oh. <laughs> this is inspiring me with confidence that this is going to be right to start on off with. All righty. Uh, microphone over to Trey first. All righty. So, Trey, how many legs does the spider have? Hey, I said eight. That's a ting. That's a, that, that's a correct answer. Yeah, show the paper. Yeah, yeah, eight, yeah. Uh, uh, what did microphone. you get? My microphone. Hey, 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 tick, tick, tick. Yes, that's uh, great. Yeah, Excellent okay, work. Okay. Well done. One from one. The score is one, one. Very, very good. All righty, second question. Uh, another easy one. Ready? How many days are in a year? A little bit of thinking music. Oh, smart. Got it. Trey was quick there. Quick, real quick. Luke's thinking. Mathematics. Luke's, Luke's just not good up. at mathematics. Why are you trying to? Why is there? Why are you trying to? Why, what are you doing? Mental maths on the paper there for? Yeah, Hang so on. Hey, <laughs> I put three hundred sixty-five. Hey, ding! Fantastic, Trey. What'd you get? I think I did the same. Let's see, oh. Trey. Let's see, Trey's. Hey, hey, ding, ding, ding! Fantastic, great job. Well, hey, you fellas. I was going to put 364, but... Oh, you're very lucky that you didn't. Well, that what was the, well, well, what was the thinking process to, um, to not do 364? Where did, you, where did you find the other day in that calculation that you did? Um, <laughs> because five is closer to the number I wear on my back each week. <laughs> 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 oh, God, thank God you can kick a ball, hey? All right, uh, next one. Who was the first man to step on the moon? 
Write that down. <laughs> right, oh, no, there was some fake looks here. I actually don't know that oh, one, my well, brother. Just have a, have a, have a, have a try, have a crack, have a crack. I'll get this one over to Luke. Uh, what? How you? How you going there, Luke? Deep in thought. You reckon you got that um, one? No, 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 yeah, not yet. Don't say it. Yet. Say it? No, 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 not yet, not yet. I'm just yeah. getting your thoughts. Do you think you got that one? I reckon I got it. You got that one? Yeah, cool, nice one. All right, let's go with Luke first. You seem quite confident. What do uh, you think? Neil Armstrong. No. Nice, nice. Hey, tick, I tick. You got Neil Armstrong Neil as well, Armstrong my too. brother. <laughs> nice. Tick, tick, tick. Wow, boy, it's too easy for you. Seriously, Matt three from three. Three Matt from three. Do some mathematical All right. equations. Okay, in here I've got Luke and his struggles. I've got, I've got some mathematical one coming up here for a second. Oh, it's not quite a mathematical one, but a little bit more of a deeper thinker. Ready? So, um, listen to this. Ready? What has to be broken before you use it? Don't say it yet. Write it down. Thinking music. Let's bring that up. Trey was fast. He's down on the page there. What has to be broken before you can use it? I think Trey's looking quite confident here. I'm pretty confident in this uh, answer, my brother. We're just waiting on Luke's answer here. Hey, Luke, I think it's glass. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get in his head. You can break glass the so you games. can use it. <laughs> The mind games. Have you got one? You can break. You got, no, that's right. Let, let's go again. Okay, you got it? Yeah, you go first. Okay, well, uh, no, I'll try go first. first. Try go first. What do you got? Hey, pens down so you can't cheat, brother. <laughs> what do you got written down, my friend? I got the Dr. Eggman. Hey, tick, tick, tick. Hey. Oh, so I'll put that over, Luke. I assume, uh, Luke, I assume that you didn't get that one. What'd you get? Hey, I just wrote sand. <laughs> what? Sand? Give him, give him back the microphone, please. I'm just, sorry, sand. <laughs> no, I just wrote that. I didn't have any. Oh, that's a big. That's actually smart. That's a big no on there. That's a big wow. Okay, all right. Sand. So hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I need to back this up. Hang on. How did? You, why would it be sand? Why would it be sand? Why? How do you oh, break? That's the only thing that came in my head, so I'll just put it. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we got trays up by one. All right, Yay. four three. All righty, next one. Um, who wears number one for your respective team? So who wears number one for Collingwood, and who wears number one for uh, Melbourne? Oh, so that's actually a question. Yeah, that's a question. Just so your answers are going to be different here, but I've got the right answers for each of you here. So number one for Collingwood for Trey, and number one for Melbourne for Luke. Yep. Both quite fast on that. Know the numbers. What uh, what, what do you got there? Second best looking guy in the AFL, Pat Lipinski. Tick, whack, nailed it, mm. nailed it. Luke, what do you got? Um, Stephen May. Tick, one. tick, yeah. tick. Fantastic. Well done. Wow, good round. Know the numbers. You know all the numbers, you reckon? Yeah. Bonus. Oh, I reckon. Number 17. Callum Brown. Do you number 17, Melbourne? This is just a bonus question. This is just chucking it in. Um... You haven't written it down already, you know nah. that. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, nah, Jake Bowie. Jake Same Bowie. Name. I don't know, so I'm going to have to take both of your words for that. So. <laughs> I, hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Trey's still up by one. All right. Uh, so next question. What club has been around longer, Melbourne or Collingwood? A little bit of thinking, thinking music. Both very fast to the paper. Hey, Luke. Are we good? <laughs> Trey, what do you got? I got Collingwood. Collingwood. Let's go over to Luke. Go. The D's. <laughs> Tick for the D's. D's nuts. <laughs> Melbourne's the original. <laughs> <laughs> Melbourne's the original. It was Melbourne and Geelong. Yeah, Melbourne's the longest ever. Longest club. and Geelong. I've was... heard heaps of people say it. Yeah, yeah, long. yeah. Oh, what, Trey? It's now even. Collingwood is very old, now. though. It is very old. 18 something. 93. I think it's oh to be honest I can't this is bad for anyway me. I haven't got, I haven't got the stat up but anyway that's all right but we've got that okay so we we're back in the game we're back in the game we've got fours up four all five all whatever it is we're, we're we're even alrighty so another little thinker now this is the last one this honestly couldn't have been scripted any better we're tied right this is what's going to separate you fellas this is the hardest one I reckon all right so listen here listen here listen closely as I did well. that last one on purpose so it's a bit closer. yeah 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 it's good it's good to be <laughs> the theatrics of the podcast though. I do yeah. appreciate that uh, all right so a man 
<laughs> a man who was outside in the rain without an umbrella or hat. He didn't get a single hair on his head wet. Too How? many words. All right, listen again. <laughs> listen again. I lost them after a man. Hang on. So, you all right? Yeah. Did you get that? No. Sorry. Okay, let's go again. <laughs> let's go one more time. All right. A man who was outside in the rain. He doesn't have an umbrella and he doesn't have a hat on. He didn't get a single hair on his head wet. Why or how? Thinking music. This one's a lot. This is a lot of thinking. I'll hold that microphone for you, Luke, for a sec. Thanks. Yeah, I think I'm fucking smart, my you, brother. You think you got this one? I think I'm smart. You think you got this yeah, one? I think I got this as well. You got that one as well? <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, hold that one there for us for a second, Luke. We'll go with Luke first. Hang on one second. All right. So, uh, Luke, how does the man not have... <laughs> Why is his head not wet? Go. <laughs> He was, um, he's bold. Oh, tick, tick. Yes, and Trey, did you also have bold? I think it's because he's bold. Oh, my <laughs> tick, tick, tick. Wow, that is awesome. <laughs> that is a tie. So you're both as smart as each other. That's the best thing to come out of this. I don't, That's think, I don't think you're happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about that, Trey? <laughs> I'm kind of disappointed. <laughs> I shouldn't have given him that point. <laughs> oh, you flopped on Collingwood. No, it was a loyalty. You were too loyal. You couldn't. You, you couldn't not. But if you think about it, what breaks before you can use it? He put sand, <laughs> and I don't think that's smart. <laughs> that is a good point. That's that is a, a negative good three. What's the next segment? Oh no! Well, that's all the quiz done. So I've just loved again. You're just as smart as each other. So that is fantastic. And that's negative three. That was sad. You had to cross it that out. That was as well, awesome, my brother. That was awesome. <laughs> so, fellas, uh, this is probably the biggest round of football going round right now. Hence why I'm here. The body magic round, right? This is Trey's first body magic uh, round that you've been a part of. Uh, give the microphone over. How does it feel to be part of such a massive round of football, mate? Collingwood v Carlton doesn't get much bigger. Hey, well. I wouldn't mind it if I was playing yeah. in the Body Magic Round. Well, we'll find, we'll find out later we'll on. Find Hopefully, out fingers tomorrow. crossed, mate. I've got a good feeling, bro. I've got this yeah. good feeling. No, we're close. Yeah. I know I'm close. So I just got to keep trying my best and yeah. uh, put best foot forward. And Hopefully, that comes soon. And you're playing pretty well in the VFL. You've been pretty consistent, though, hey? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. no, I have been. From everything that I've like heard and saw, it's been like you've been had a real consistent year the whole time. Yeah, I've kept everything consistent. That's what I wanted to do this year. If I. Yep. Any level I play, I just want to play consistent football. Yeah. Doesn't have to be good, good for two weeks, bad for three weeks. I'd rather 100%. play the same for the whole year. Yep. Um, but yeah, no, it's been good. I still, I still love playing when I get to play football. Like if yeah. I miss out for a week, like last week, I missed out on playing a game for the week, yep. and there was only three of us that missed out, and I was. Just, I was pretty disappointed because I loved just playing football. I'm yeah. over here. As in, as so football, that was when your emergency for, yep. uh, for Perth. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. So when I was emergency yep. for Perth, like, I was just like, I wish I just could have played football that round. Yeah. Like, I yep. just want to play football every week, which is what I love doing. And that's why I'm over here. So, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. As definitely. long as I get to play a game, I'm happy. And uh, Luke, this is your second uh, Body Madge uh, round. Uh, you actually came away with. The Body Magic Cup uh, yeah. last year, right? So this is the new one, everyone at home, right? This is the new oh. golden shaker. Look at that, pure gold tray. Look at that. What do you think? I've got that sitting in my wardrobe. Well, I was going to say, so, it stinks. So, so uh, last year, Luke, quite, so the, the, the round last year was, again, Fremantle versus Melbourne. And uh, Dee's won that one, so you won the, uh, the cup. I sent you the cup. And, uh, <laughs> and inside, and is it, does it actually smell that? Yeah, does it? You put oh, it smells all right. That's a bit. Well, you know, yeah, they're used beforehand. I want to get some use out of it before I fucking just, you know, give it away as a trophy. Let's say you know it's legit. But uh, I think your one had some pre-workout in it. Yeah. And it's a really it's sweet. Have you still got it? Yeah. It's yes. in the top of my wardrobe. Oh, I it. Oh, mate, that makes me so happy that yeah. after all, I mean, it's probably one of the bigger one things you won last year, I imagine. Yeah. yeah. I was going to chuck it out when I was like, oh, no, nah, you can't. I you can't. I can't. Sentimental value too high. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hmm? How do you win? Well, it's the the, the the marquee game is Melbourne versus Fremantle because that's like all the guys that most amount of players. That makes sense. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Have you seen the promo video I put together? If you haven't seen it, I'll show you after. It's fucking pretty funny, but I'm posting it up today. Give him back the microphone. He wants to say something. <laughs> <laughs> Luke's just <laughs> he's sitting there like a statue holding my finger. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, what do you think? What do you think now that you've seen that? Yeah, what do you think? Of the, heavy. the craftsmanship? Did yeah, you know? No, it's good. A little couple of scratches on it. So, yeah, I'll be honest. Every time I put it in my bag, it comes out looking more fucked. So, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> the paint job needs another quick one before it goes home with the, with the uh, with the winner. So, um, and back to back to Luke. So um, Melbourne versus Frio. How are you feeling with that uh, match up and this week? Feeling good? Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Should What's be good. Top of the top, close to the top of the table clash for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, we've been yeah we've been eyeing them off for a little bit. So yeah. it should be a good game. Should yeah. be a good game. And your mum and dad are coming on over as well. I'm going to sit with them and watch the game, which should be pretty good fun. Yeah. So yeah, yeah got to put on a bloody show, mate. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully. Good, yeah. uh, and then the other uh, the other two games that are like part of the Body Magic Cup uh, are um, uh, Gold Coast versus Hawthorne. Who's your tips for that? Um, just a tip, just Gold Coast versus Hawthorne. It's actually up in Darwin. Hawthorne, Hawthorne, yeah, Hawthorne, Hawthorne. Hawthorne. <laughs> Don't eat it, uh, Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, and then the other one is Essendon versus Port Adelaide. Who you got for that one? Ah, uh, Port, Port, Trey. Hey, I'll go with Essendon. Essendon, oh, huge one, nice, nice. Well, uh, fellas, uh, really appreciate you coming on, uh, coming on down and catching up and uh, doing the pod with us. We'll have to do. Uh, I'd like to do like a proper one, singly each when we're you know back in Perth, and we'll do one. We'll go right into you know um, all the stuff to do with um, you know your careers and everything thus far. But uh, thank you very much for coming on. Uh, really appreciate it. Absolutely killing it this year. Can't wait to see you on Sunday. Can't wait to see you on Saturday. Um, and yeah, thanks very much. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Not a problem. Yeah. Not a problem. Thank you. Scott and Babu. <laughs> <laughs> no, what thanks. Not? Thanks for having us. <laughs> I'll try to get the translation with this whole episode right. <laughs> I'll have to run it past you for subtitles. <laughs> hey, we miss you, Zachy. <laughs> thanks, boys. <laughs>